remember when the Easter Bunny brought this for Brandon when he was two years old, but he's now 13. Ah, heartstrings, but it might be time to finally let it go. It is that time of the week again. It is time to declutter another section in this hoarded basement. And we've made amazing progress, but we also have a little ways to go, which is okay because my name is Miss Hart and I am recovering in my hoarding disorder. And what works for me is doing baby step decluttering where we declutter small sections at a time and letting go of what feels right in our hearts. So when I get started in decluttering and you see an overwhelming amount of stuff, what I do to get started is scan the area. I look at all of the things in front of me and I start to think, what is the easiest thing I can declutter first? What can I let go of easily? And it's this box right here, this empty box. You guys know that I hoarded empty boxes for the longest time. But I'm at a stage in my recovery where I can finally recycle and let it go. So that's how we're going to get the decluttering momentum started. Now, y'all just saw that bag I took out of the box. And of course, I forget what on earth I bought. So let's open it up and see what I have in there. And oh my goodness, it's an adorable unicorn bag. Oh, I forgot all about this and a matching scrunchie. But honestly, I have so many cute unicorn things, and I think what I'm going to do is re-gift it for Christmas, because I know exactly who I can give this to, and she'll enjoy it. And I plan on shopping my hoarded stash for Christmas presents this year. And let's continue that momentum, because we can totally declutter this bubble wrap. I used to hoard it, but now I feel good letting it go. Same with newspaper. I always hoard a newspaper thinking that I could wrap something in it if I was shipping something out or in between holidays and I could protect the decor that I was putting away. But this is from, oh, September 2014. It's what, seven years old? I think it's time to recycle it. We can let that go. And... <laughs> The plastic bag of newspaper, you know we're recycling that too. Now, I see a lot of tossy tossies behind there, but we kind of have to clean out the front before we can really reach that. So this contact paper right here from Dollar Tree, I use it to craft things, make those organizational boxes. So we're going to keep that and put that in the crafting bin. But this pink thing that it's in, I can totally let that go. It feels right in my heart and we can give it away. Now this roll right here, this actually looks like it's for our insulation. So I am going to keep it because there are areas in the basement where the insulation is pulled back and hubby does need to get around to fixing it but unfortunately he's been working a lot of overtime so hopefully this fall he'll be able to fix it in the meantime i'm wearing a mask and i'm going to leave the roll here so when he's ready to get started we'll know where it's at moving on to the overhead projector this is actually hubby's and we've actually used it a few times but i'm going to let him make the decision not this this is a tossy tossy but we'll let him make the decision of letting this go or keeping it and this plastic bag, we don't hoard that anymore. We can definitely recycle this. Same with the mailers and the boxes. I always hoarded them because I thought I was going to reuse them when I sold something on eBay or Macari. But I haven't done that in such a long time. And moving on to my lamp that I got in sixth grade. <laughs> I'm still very sentimentally attached to it. And it is okay if I still need to hold on to it. We never want to let go of something we're not ready to let go of because we don't want to regress backwards. But moving forward, we can totally declutter this Hot Topic bag that's probably from 2005. Tossy, tossy, bye. Same with the Walmart bag, bye. And up. Oh, an empty coffee can that I used to always hoard because I thought I could make a craft out of it. And I still can, but it's okay to let this go. And once you get that decluttering momentum going, it becomes so much easier to let go of things. These are things I used to have a stronghold on. But because we decluttered each and every week, 
I can pull things and let it go without being attached like this tripod. I, this is very old and no equipment that I had will be useful for this. So we can absolutely let this go. It does get easier. And what's in this black bin? It's, oh, it's more CDs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now, I have to admit, I, I am very sentimentally attached to music. Music is very therapeutic to me and that's probably why I hold on to the CDs. And we eventually will do a Kamari method on them, but for now, it's best to just label the bin so we know what's in here and save it for another time. But what we're not saving for another time is this Oriental Trading Catalog from 2008. That is a tossy tossy. Same with all of this newspaper and, oh, surprise, surprise, more plastic bags, an MP3 player instruction book from 2005, and a fashion bug coupon. Yes, they are all tossy tossies. And over here are Christmas stickers 2010. Hmm, should I put them on my Christmas cards 2021? No, of course not. I got to let that go. And same with all of this other stuff. Now, granted that maybe it is like to and from and stickers, but I already have so many. I really do not need to hold on to all the miscellaneous pieces of paper. It does feel right in my heart to let it all go. And underneath of that is precious moments, which I am still sentimentally attached to from my younger years and teen years. And it is best to just gather them all together and eventually do a Kamari method on that too. It does help that method because the thing is, everything is so spread out that I'll hold on to every single thing because I don't know if I still have the other thing and since it's lost well i have this so i'll hold on to it no the kamari method does help with hoarding disorder you just gotta take it in very small doses so what i'm going to do for now is we're just going to grab a bin that we already have put all of the precious moments into it it is a clear bin so i can see clearly that they are precious moments and when we finally found all this stuff together as we do this rough organization then i can pick my favorites and let go of the others so now let's move over to this section where the toddler tool bench is and let's work our way from the top and my feather boa and my unicorn headband that i used in another video is still down here now i'll put it back where it belongs because you know i'm not ready to let that go but what i am ready to let go of is this pink bag. Now, I know I kept it because I loved it. It was bright. It was polka dot. It was cute. And it made me feel happy, which meant my anxiety didn't exist. But we don't need to hold on to it. We can let that go. And now, oh, oh, wow. This is a no doubt CD. I played this over and over again in my bedroom. So we'll keep that. Now, these are old games from like the 80s. These are hubbies so since these are hubbies old games what i'm going to do is i have this little section over here where all of his stuff is and when he's ready he can go through the things and of course underneath of that is the toddler tool bench that the easter bunny bought brandon when he was two years old and uh, i know it's time to let this go and it's it's hard it is hard because when i physically see the item it's like the scene comes alive when he was talking on the phone and playing with it but i'm making a decision with my heart and within my heart i feel okay in letting it go this was a big decision for me but i do feel that i can let this go and not regret it and i can imagine another child playing with it and that really helps too now in this bag right here is oh all right it looks like it's more random pieces of paper that honestly it's great i can logically let this go i don't feel the emotional need to hold on to this stuff and in the bag underneath of that is, oh, this is great. These are the tools that go with the tool bench. So that works out even better. I'm glad that I at least kept these pieces together. 
And underneath of that is some old Atari cartridges. And I can tell you right now, we're not going to let them go. I know hubby wants them, but so do my kids because they're gamers. And they dream of setting up a little gaming station area once the basement is finally cleaned out. And I see some boxes over here that we can recycle. There's, there's no need to hold on to it. This thing is like falling apart with dirt. We can let that go and we can also let go of this printer box. Why? Why do we have it? We can absolutely recycle it and oh, surprise, surprise, more packing peanuts. <laughs> we can totally let that go too. And since this one's just right in front of my face, we can let that one go too. Bye-bye, recycle it. Now, moving on to this lamp, I'm going back and forth whether we should keep it for the basement, for lighting, or just let it go. And let me know in the comment section below, should I keep the lamp and maybe when we clean out the basement, like put it over in this area for extra lighting? Or do you think it's something that I should just let go of now? And moving over here is, surprise, surprise, another empty box. We can totally let that go. But this green bag has craft supplies, and yeah, I do want to keep it for a little longer, so we'll put it in the craft supply area. Underneath of that, oh, another diaper box with random pieces of paper and Ziplocs, and oh, reindeer poop. Yeah, that was from Christmas. <laughs> we can go ahead and recycle this too. And underneath that box is, well, a mailer. That's an easy tossy tossy. We can totally let that go. But I'm seeing some baby stuff in here, like the baby hangers. And I feel okay, I do. I feel okay. Same with the baby book with the stain on it. Like, I'm not gonna put pictures in here. And all of the toddler shoes, I, I feel okay letting it go and I have to admit that it feels weird and wonderful to not feel sentimentally attached to this, to not try and figure out a story of the need to hold on to it to calm my anxiety. I'm not feeling anxiety by letting this stuff go. It just really shows that you can recover in your hoarding disorder. It is okay. We are going to be okay if we let this box go and with that said in this video we sure did let a lot of stuff go especially baby and sentimental things because i thought i could never ever let those things go especially after my miscarriages but i am proud to show you this massive tossy tossy pile we let go of so much stuff and i always record this because it just, just to show that I can do it. Anyone with hoarding disorder or recovering, we can do it. We can get to that point. You're strong enough. I feel okay letting this go. I'm not gonna regret or run out to the trash can and grab this stuff back out. It feels right in my heart and we're going to recycle it as best as we can. And I am so incredibly happy to show you this newly opened space. Look, it's really opening up. We're really chopping away at this basement. This is what works with hoarding disorder, at least with mine, is that each and every week we just declutter another section, what feels good. And before you know it, these spaces start to open up. My favorite saying is a journey of a thousand miles starts with just one step. And we're taking those steps and we'll continue to take those steps as we finish the rest of the basement. We can do this. We can recover in our hoarding disorder. I promise you, we're here together. And I want you to know that I will always be here to cheer you on.